Uh, I'm Paul Williams. I'm the design manager for Special Projects. I'm fundamentally uh, involved in the development of our lightweight components, but involved throughout the design and development process. Uh, we have a range of materials across the bike. We use steel, aluminium, uh, plastics in various forms, but the, the core structure of our classic bike is steel. Uh, we use a range of alloys of steel from chrome oly to plain gauge steels depending on what we want that part of the bike to do and other constraints from uh, the materials available to the formability of it, what we require to do it. A part that requires a, a bend in it is going to require different properties from a straight piece. The end goal of it is to have a, a bike that performs in the way we want to, has the longevity and the durability that we want it to and material selection is a large part of that. Uh, we've also had a large progression from when Andrew was building bikes uh, in arches in Brentford to where we are today, knocking out tens of thousands of bikes. So the economies of scale have allowed us to move through various different materials, uh, various different alloys. But the, the key principle of a Brompton is uh, the steel frame that offers it the longevity through the long fatigue life. The ride dynamic that the Brompton's famous for, it rides like a bigger bike because of the strengths and stiffnesses in the material. If we move to other grades of material, we could potentially make savings in, in cost, in, uh, in, in weight, but we wouldn't have the, the rideability of a Brompton uh, and the durability. Um, other parts, we use various other materials that are suitable to it. So we have aluminium handlebars, uh, we have aluminium cranks and forgings where we want to take weight out uh, and we can design in the strengths we require. Uh, all materials, we can design to those characteristics. So. Once you know the principal characteristics of the material, we can design it to do what we want it, but different ones have different advantages. And essentially we've got a melting pot across the bike of uh, the right part, the right material, uh, the right design to give us uh, the product that has uh, longevity, durability and, and performance. Um, for about a decade we've had a, a super light option uh, which brings the weight down of the bike by about a kilo. To achieve that, we've used titanium. Um, titanium's a, a really interesting material. It's an expensive material, so we don't use it across the bike. Depending on what we do with the forming, it can be between 10 and 100 times the cost of the steel part. But its density is about 40% less than steel, so it offers a real weight saving. Um, with that comes some uh, challenges in manufacturing. It performs very differently from steel. Uh, the whole way that you have to uh, weld it together is different from the way we braze steel. Um, it's modulus, so the amount it flexes relative to steel uh, is, is increased. So we can also tune in the dynamics of how the bike rides and make changes to that. So it's an exciting material. It offers a lot of opportunity in taking the weight out on a Brompton because you carry it as a folded package as well. It's a real win if we can take weight out. So titanium is an exciting part of our, our present and our future. We've uh, increased our capability to manufacture in that and our design knowledge, and, and we'll probably increase our offering across the range on that. But it comes at a, a cost. Um, it's a more challenging material to work with and the raw material, the cost is much greater than the steel.